Uh, getting ready to start the weekend. You know how it is. My Saturday is always working, getting shit done. Um, but first, uh, it is I'm doing that carb recycling, a little or a little refeed. So that's an extra 60 grams of carbs that I have been allowed to eat today. Oh yeah. Well, I I'm not a little big old station, but um, yeah, 60 grams of carbs. So I'm so excited. Um, cause I have not had a bagel in so long. Uh, and yo, they actually have a uh, jalapeno everything bagels now. Like what is a jalapeno every, yeah, I did. Jalapeno everything is wild. Um, yo, yo, yo. So it is Saturday, April, quick, quick, whoo, 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 some foreshadowing there. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to quick, keep this, uh, recap, uh, really quick. Just in that, I had a really interesting conversation with uh, Christopher DeFalco, a really close friend of mine. I may or may not believe that is the middle name or last name. I don't think he cares, but really kind of about my future, future steps. Um, and I don't know, I feel like I had a very similar conversation with myself in November and, you know, on the blog at the time too about throwing training, life, career, getting back and everything. And, you know, a lot of important things to think about is like timing, age, and, uh, you know, is this the end of the journey? Um, so that was, that was a great conversation, <laughs> a lot to hit at once, but no, uh, redid my workout for April. I think I'm in a good spot. I think instead of supersetting things, we're going to keep things, um, stay at that same exercise, strict 45 second rest periods. If we need to tack the weight down a little bit, we'll tack it down. Um, but if I think I keep everything to 45 seconds to 60 seconds, I think I could be get get be done with my workout within an hour and twenty, um, hour thirty. Add in a buffer, shower stuff, head out, all in door to door, two hours, which is perfect. Um, there's that. Um, don't have much to say. Like I said, I'm gonna keep this short. I'm gonna go murk the sprints. I might challenge myself to do hills, but the focus is gonna be on hey, let's get some good solid, you know, ten uh, to fifteen progressive sprints going up. So what that means is like hey, I'm gonna be building up from like different sprint stances uh, and you know, 10, 15, maybe 20 yards and kind of building that up till I hit like a more top line speed. Um, and then what I close out with is like, hey, do I do some hill work or um, some kind of tire jogs with the chain of tire myself out like I did last time, just those walks. Um, Cause I think, I think those are, those are really good too. Then go crush the arm workout, core, cardio, come back home. It's about 119, so I should be back uh, by four and be ready to go. So, all right, peace. And then later guys, uh, I'm at the field and uh, doing my usual warm up, you know, skipping aside kind of like the jumping jacks and the glute, you know, bridges and things like that. Um, I like to all like you guys, I like to warm up with 50 yard jog, 50 yard sprints, walk back or maybe a hundred yard jog, hundred yard jog bag for like, maybe like 400 yards in total. And what that does, it really allows me to gauge where, uh, lighting's better this way. It really allows me to gauge kind of, hey, where, where's my body, where are my legs feeling, what do my knees feel like. Uh, today's a day where my legs definitely feel a little heavy. You know, maybe I didn't have enough time rest from kind of the heavy leg day yesterday, step ups, um, lunges, uh, leg press, etc. Yes, I think the leg press is a very important exercise. Even if you're an athlete, you should do the leg press, um, you know, within reason and programming it incorrectly. So legs feel heavy, but they're starting to kind of get a little loose moving around a little bit. So I might do another 100-yard jog. Like I'll probably walk out and 100-yard jog back. And then after that, I'll do – I'll walk back down again, and I'll do a 50-yard jog, 50-yard sprint, and do that twice. Then I'll go into like my 10, 20-yard sprints, and then I'll do walkouts with the chain. So that will be fun. Um, but anyway, that is uh, – that's that. So uh, I know I said I was going to change up the camera angles of my sprints, totally failed to do that, but I have two more reps left 
uh, with the sprints. It's blinding because of blinding lights. Shout out to my boy the weekend. Shout out to Abel. We gotta meet one day, bro. We, we gotta be in the stew. But anyway, so I'm just gonna get a different angle because I'd love to just see how I look coming up. You know, how my knee drive, hip drive, all that good stuff. Uh, and then next week or tomorrow, I will remember to uh, change the camera angle. But anyway. So we are doing uh, my favorite. We're gonna do some of just the walkouts. Uh, and then in addition to the walkouts, I'm probably gonna do some, um, I don't know if I'll do like reverse jogs, but I'll definitely do like just some backpedaling type of like walk versus a full backpedal sprint. You know, I'm not there yet, but I think with some of the heavy loads, as I get used to that, as I get used to the stretch reflex and just that load getting put on my ankles and my calves and all that, I think, in short order, I'll be able to start doing some of the heavy back pedals and all that stuff. That if you go back to my videos last summer, I, I kind of struggled with it, even without weight, right? It just the pop wasn't there. But now the endurance is there, the strength is there. So now I think that pop will come, you know, a full year later. So anyway, let me get uh, started on some of these uh, tire walks with an aggressive uh, steel chain, which you definitely don't see. There you go. There it is, the legendary steel chain of Doshi. I know I look crazy, but somehow, should I go do hills or no? Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go do hills. Just even if it's gonna be like a three, two, one pyramid, I think that'll be nice. Just see where I'm at. And I, if I do a three, two, three, two, one, and that takes me to about three fifteen. I got here at two fifteen, or I started at two seventeen. That's an hour of pushing myself hard, and that'll be a good kind of mental threshold to clear. So let's go do that. I somehow convinced myself to make it out here. Uh, but I'm gonna do a quick three, two, one, uh, maybe 45 second minute rest in, be in between and call it a day. But here I am, made it out here. It's all that matters. It's all that matters. I'm going to make a living in the 